judges are going to recess. Uh, my name is Matt Van Allen, I'm a retired high school government teacher. I spent most of my career in Centerville uh, working for Centerville City Schools. In addition, I have a master's in economics. I'd first like to thank the League for emancipating me from the tyranny of the alphabet when they decided to reverse the speaking order. There's six people in my race, and every place I've been, I've been last. I would like to thank my wife, Patricia Drake, okay, who has been a wall ally throughout. From the beginning of this race, I have been consistent about my desire to bring a voice of reasonableness to the discussion of fiscal issues. Fiscal issues. The problem is a major one, and it is not going away. This is not just about money. This is about options those that our children will have, and those that they won't have. We can either devise a solution or one will be imposed on us. I fear that the latter will not be good for what you need. I am for a comprehensive approach that includes program adjustment and revenue increases, deficit reduction, and tax and entitlement reform, good faith negotiations, and a willingness to compromise. Mine is not a novel proposal, nor is it difficult. It's simply a matter of arithmetic and will. I think the American people are ready to do something on this issue. What is needed is a little courage on the part of our leaders and a plan that people see as fair. I am a candidate who has the courage to cast those difficult votes. I would like to take the remainder of my time discussing another issue. I was disheartened when I saw Olympia Snow announce withdrawal from public life. Commenting on her reason, she cited the atmosphere of polarization, the pervasive, my way of the highway ideology, and a lack of willingness to build consensus. I share the Senator's concern. I have friends across the political spectrum. We discuss, banter, cajole. We don't lecture, bully, and offend. My experience tells me my civil that civility is possible. A change is needed. We need to think beyond our current way of doing things. We need to select a broader array of citizens to be our legislators. I am one of those citizens. I would appreciate your vote.